Good, whatever your time zone is, I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what you're going to get today from a conservative voice is... Uh, you know how Canada is such a supposedly kind place on planet Earth? Well, apparently that's a lie, because we currently have Trudeau trying to pass the bill C-63, called the Online Harms Act. And like the Liberal Party, he spends our taxpaying dollars liberally on him, himself, and nobody else. And likewise with that, he is now passing a bill. And guess how much it is going to cost us regular people? Because I'll get into that. But this act, which is supposedly going to be used to protect Canadians from hatred, because that is what Canada is known for, uh, getting hatred, uh, anywho. Now, how much is this going to cost? And how is this going to work? And what does it mean for gamers? You know, the worldly known place for toxic masculinity, where men don't give a hoot about who you are. Well, I'll let the post-millennial article take it from here. The Online Harms Act, while ostensibly seeking to protect all people in Canada from hatred, would create a definition of hatred, increase existing penalties for hate propaganda offenses, and promulgate a unique criminal code entry for a hate crime offense, while offering new remedies for violating online hate speech within Canadian Human Rights Act. And what can the remedies lead to, I hear you ask? It continues, being guilty of a hate crime offense could lead to life in prison. The bill reestablishes the power of Human Rights Tribunal to convict people of hate speech and hate propaganda under the Canadian Human Rights Act. The maximum fine, if found guilty, would be a whopping $70,000. Let me tell you, if there was even a moment to be more for Pierre, then I wouldn't know what that moment entails. Because right now, Pierre Polyev is kind of our last bastion for free speech anything. And yes, you guessed correctly, Pierre has said that he would repeal Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's Bill C-63, the Online Harms Act, after learning that it would cost an additional 200 million for government employees to monitor alleged hate crime offenses, according to the latest report from the Parliamentary Budget Officer. Oh yeah, forgot to mention this, the whole bill would cost an additional 200 million. And let me ask, could you take a wild guess as to what is going to cover the bill of this bill? Is it A, Trudeau's dumb B, the government through inside funding, or the most probable, C, taxpayers. Uh, imagine your taxes going into policing people's talking. <laughs> that is so ludicrous. Um, instead of putting that 200 million into covering people's education loans, we're putting 200 million into grammar, <clears throat> uh, square mustache peoples. But yeah, uh, Pierre is being the hero once again in saying that he is going to repeal this nonsense. Thank goodness. We have someone of common sense speaking against a stupid bill. But I'll let the article continue. Polyev's office told the National Post that a new conservative government would repeal C-63 if it is passed into law. Common sense conservatives opposed Justin Trudeau's three-headed censorship monster and new 200 million bureaucracy. Should his liberal NDP coalition government pass this new censorship law, a Pierre Pauly of common sense conservative government will repeal it, said Sebastian Skamsky, director of media relations. In his reference to the three-headed censorship monster, Polyev points to Trudeau's other internet censorship bills, C-11 and C-18, called the Online Streaming Act and Online News Act, which were passed into law in 2023. Polyev has been strongly critical of the philosophical thrust of the bill, saying it shows that Trudeau must have read George Orwell's 1984 as an instruction manual and not a warning. My thanks go to Polyev and Michelle Rempel Garner, who is the Calgary Conservative MP who asked for a calculation of all costs that would be accrued by the new Online Harms Act, and then followed it up with the opportunity cost of Bill C-63 alone should be enough to send it to the minister's tread pile. And I'm sending my thanks their way because they are doing the people's justice with transparency against Trudeau. And I really just cannot understand anyone who isn't against Trudeau. 
Like, how lacking in mental capacity do you have to be to vote for a Canadian deficit? The Liberal Party has done nothing but cause more and more problems in all of North America. But as a Canadian, we must fight against this blatant problem in all of Canada, that being the Liberal Party. They have caused nothing but problems, and a simple solution to all of their problems is vote conservative. And how can you not be for that message? It is simple and obvious, and by you doing that, we move closer to making Canada great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.